All right, guys, so let's go over the best setup, the quickest setup, I should say, to actually load a soaring task into Flight Sim 2024. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you the three tools that are used here. Well, four if you count wisimglide.org on the background, but let's start about these three tools, okay? You have the DPHX unpack and load, which serves as a kind of a hub. And then you have the NB21 logger, which logs your flight, but it does more than that because it, it, it communicates the flight plan to the gliders inside Flight Sim 2024. Uh, and you have the SSC tracker, which uh, is a, a map, a, a live map that you can display in VR or in 2D in, in, in Flight Sim so that you can see others and yourself on the map. All right. So let's go over the setup for all of them. For the logger, uh, once it's installed on your computer, you start it and then you have to set up your pilot name, pilot ID. Okay, that's the important set up, set up your pilot name and your ID. Should be different than any other IDs of other pilots, but there's no you know protection against that. Just for the tracker, you install it on your computer also, and then you only have to, you know, you should use the same thing uh, as you do here. So pilot name, pilot ID should be the same, pilot name and pilot ID here in the tracker makes things easier and you have nothing else to do the group don't mind that it was going to be set automatically but the group is usually to you know define which group you are flying with if you are flying alone then you can set anything you can leave it as global you can put your own um, group as you want but for the this video you'll see it's going to be uh specified you know it's going to be uh, fed automatically Okay, so we have the settings for the NB21. We have the settings for the tracker. And then uh, unpack and load. You also install that on your computer, of course. And then you go into, the first time it's gonna go automatically into settings. And I, you have to tell it a few things about your uh, MSFS installation, whether it's 2020, 2024, is it a Steam or Microsoft Flight Simulator? Then you can click detect folders. It's gonna detect the right folders, but just you know, double check for the flight plan files, the weather files, uh, XC store, we don't care about that. And B21, uh, the executable is gonna need that. So where you install the logger is gonna need to know where it is. So you can left click and then it comes up with the folder. You just select it and then you go, my executable in is in this folder. And same thing for the tracker. Uh, you have to set it, uh, set the, where the, the executable is and, and enable all of these and for the quickest possible um quickest possible load then you always overwrite in the you enable auto unpack okay and that's that's it that's what you have to do and i'll show you what it does after that okay so that's the basic settings now i'm going to close them okay i'm even going to close this one now you are on wisdom glide but Let's not care about Wisdom Glide for now. Let's just start. There's a flight coming in in coming in just a, in about a few hours right now, the SSC Saturday. So if I just start my DPHX unpack, okay, I click the link. See, the first thing I get when I start it and it detects that there is a, a flight starting soon, it's, it tells you Sim Soaring Club Saturday losing, uh, lo losing 358. Will you be participating? If I click yes, watch what will happen. That's it. Unpack completed. So what does it mean? What does it mean, all of that? Well, just by saying, yes, I want to participate to that flight at the, at the start, it went and downloaded everything. It placed the flight plan. It was copied over, well, I already had it, but it's gonna copy it at the right place for flight sim. 
Same thing for the weather preset. So that's it's important that you do this before running Flight Sim because Flight Sim, you know, if you put a new weather preset in there and it's already loaded in Flight Sim, then it, it won't see any new presets. So I always set up before actually launching Flight Sim, okay? But it copied the weather preset exactly at the right place. Then it started the logger. It sent the, the flight plan to the logger. And then it started the tracker and it sent all of the information needed also the task the weather and the group so the group that is used for this task and that's it now you are ready to start flight sim it's going to be the, our next step but let's see that again just so you see it again and maybe we'll choose we'll, we'll actually pick a different option this time i close the tool again i start it again of course, it's going to come up with, well, it's going to already load the last one you've loaded, but it's going to ask me the same question. Do you want to participate? If I say no to that, you'll notice here there are a lot of, of stuff. There are group events here. There are tasks also. If I click on one of them, if I reclick this one, what happens is it brings me here just to confirm that it is the right one and it says download and open. If I click this, it does exactly the same thing. It downloads the thing, it sets up the logger, it sets up the tracker, but it's the same thing, okay? To actually do it from WeSimGlide, okay? So if you load WeSimGlide.org, you can go into the event tab, events tab, and you can, you know, see all the events. And from there, okay, if I just start the DPHX. All you need is you start the DP and you say no here, for example, and and, and you don't get the uh, the message. Then what what do you do? You can still click on one of these, but if you are you know like me and you want to look at uh, Wisim Glide and pick a flight from there, then you'll notice there is a little DPHX download DPHX file here. Well, what this does, if if you don't have the tool running, it's gonna download the actual DPHX file that you can open with it. But if, if the tool is running like this, and you click here, watch what will happen then. Download successful, the DPHX should now be open in your local application, and yes, it did. It opened everything in the background. You can't see it because I was on the browser, but everything happened, you know, <laughs> when I clicked the little DPHX button here, it downloaded the file, it launched the, the, the logger, it launched the tracker with all every bit of information needed. The bonus is that you have all also the briefing and, and stuff uh, about the, the, the task. You have the map, you have event information, you have the waypoints, you have weather image, you have, that's, that's bonus, but I won't go into that right now. My point is to show you how fast it can be to actually load everything into Flight Sim. Now, just before I start Flight Sim, once you have that loaded, the you, you can close the unpack and load okay once it's it's all loaded you can close it do not close the logger or the tracker they are needed throughout the task okay so let's start flight sim and, and come back okay so now we are in flight sim so let's go and click start so you'll notice that i still have the logger and the tracker loaded and it's okay and then I go into my free flight, okay? In Flight Sim 2024, at this stage right now, you never play with the EFB, okay? Forget about the EFB. The way the uh, flight plan will be communicated to uh, the glider will be through the logger, okay? It will be through the logger. It has the information. It's just waiting for the, the glider to pop in and to, to, to be able to send it the, the information. So what, what do you, what, what do you, how do you start flight if you can go and click an EFB and give it a flight plan? Well, first you select your glider as usual, you know, usually it's, uh, you go, you select a glider, you click configure, 
and in the configure you're going to choose your variant you're going to choose your livery here I, I selected the 15 but i could go and, and select the 18 actually that's that's the 18 i want here so i won't mess up with my setup here ga 18 i click configure i click livery i select the livery i want only like the Orion one uh and then launch method it is highly suggested that you download uh, I'm going to give the link, but the SSC Robin tow plane. This is a, a really good tow plane. Okay, so you select this uh, this one. Now you don't have anything to do when do fuel and payload, and then you select the the tail number and your car call sign. Okay, it doesn't. Yeah, it 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 could match the ones that you have set on in the uh, NB21 logger and the SSC tracker, but it's not required to be so. And then you click save, and then you go back to the free flight save okay now how it works so you just have to to tell it where to start so in on the nb21 logger you have the information of where you are starting you can do a search here and do like l uh, ldlo and you'll have that so you can click it's gonna bring you to that uh airport and it it also shows the runway you should be starting from runway 20 so ldlo slash 20 is the runway so you can zoom in until you see the runway 20 okay and you can click and set as departure that's one way to do it okay or you can also click departure here do the same thing ldlo Click the LDLO, and then if it doesn't bring you the right to the right one, runway, you just click here and you select it, runway 20, okay? Sometimes it will depend on the real the, the weather condition. After that, what you have to do is go into flight conditions. Okay, make sure if you wanna to select, the, of course, are gonna wanna select the, the weather file, custom. And you see here, the weather file is, is, is here, SS3075. So I'm on 25, I'm gonna go there. And since, you know, the unpack tool placed the weather file in the right folder, I have it here. So 75, this is the one. And then you have to make sure that you are on the right date and uh, time. I think this flight, it was shown on the unpacking tool, uh, it, it was displayed, but you could also go back to Wissing Glide and, and, and look at, well, 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 they'll tell you what, we'll do it. We're gonna go here and I'm gonna move this a bit. And we'll see that the sim date is uh, May 3rd at 2 p.m. 1400 hours to 2 p.m. So, okay, we're gonna go back to flight sim, move this again. Okay. And May 3rd at 2 o'clock p.m. Okay, watch out, it's not the UTC you want, it's the local. Okay, May 3rd at 2 p.m. or 1400 hours here. Make sure that you put the air traffic at off usually and multiplayers at all players. Okay, not live, not off, all players. If you want to see other players in Flight Sim, make sure to set all players. Don't set live weather, don't set real time. Select the weather profile, select the correct date and then click save and it'll be back here. And then you are all ready to click uh, start flight which we will do because I want to see, uh, I want to show you how the, the, the flight plan actually loads in to the computer of the glider. So let's click fly and I'll come back. So you should see it uh, as we go in, we will see it quite uh, fast, I think. Let's move this a bit out of the way again. Okay, now I'm ready to fly, so let's go. If I now turn on, my computer let's see and there you go you have if i click the page you have all the flight plan that the nb21 actually communicated to the glider and you're all set to fly and now the ssc tracker if you if we want to see that uh, we can click here and 
the SST tracker is here. It's going to show you other uh, participants. If there are other participants in the flight, it's going to show you. You can zoom, you can move, you can center it on your own airplane. You have a bunch of information, but I won't get into that, that, that much details. That's not the goal of this video. But I was to show you how fast it can be to just prepare and go into flight sim, and the plan is there. Okay, happy flying. Bye-bye.